I'm Gary Cronkright, uh, CEO and co-founder of PhysIQ. So we operate at the convergence of life science and digital technology, leveraging the awesome power of uh, artificial intelligence to help chronically ill patients and those who have acute illnesses stay out of the hospital, reduce lengths of stay in skilled nursing facilities, and basically just improve the quality of life. This is actually the second commercialization of this technology. Prior to PhysIQ, the University of Chicago and I incubated a company called Smart Signal. We took the uh, technology that was developed at Argonne National Laboratory to monitor nuclear power plant equipment, built a uh, platform before there was the Internet of Things to take the data from industrial control systems uh, to allow uh, owners and operators of that equipment basically optimize the operation of the equipment, uh, keep uh, uptime uh, at a maximum level and reduce maintenance costs. Uh, Smart Signal became the gold standard for industrial equipment monitoring, monitoring things like jet aircraft engines and locomotives, uh, utility plants. Uh, but several of us thought that there was also another application for this technology, basically monitoring the human machine. So before GE acquired Smart Signal, we spun out with an exclusive license for the technology for the field of healthcare because we felt there were um, a lot of opportunities to deal with the, the readmission rates and hospitalization costs for the, the chronically ill patients. So the same product that is being used to monitor chronically ill patients at home is being deployed in the clinical study space where pharmaceutical companies and, and medical device companies want to gain greater insight into how their therapies are impacting the patients that they seek to serve. So with this greater insight, the hope is that these new and innovative life-altering uh, therapies can get to market sooner. And as we move into this personalized medicine realm, a better target which patients can be best served for these new therapies um, to be more cost effective and more effective. Very early in my career I had a mentor who told me there were three things that any leader had to do to be successful. The first was to hire the brightest, most creative people you can find. Uh, when I interview someone to join PhysIQ, I seek to be the dumbest guy in the room. So far, I've succeeded on that. The second thing is to build an environment that allows these people to do their best work without the friction of uh, internal politics and with a license to challenge all of us so that we provide the most excellent product. The third thing is once you've accomplished one and two is get the hell out of the way and let them do what they do best. I'm incredibly proud of the team we've assembled at PhysIQ. Every single one of our team members could be doing a lot of other things, but they've chosen to uh, join us because they believe in our mission, they believe it's important, it's going to save lives and save uh, huge amounts of uh, healthcare costs in the future, and in the end, we're probably all going to be patients who could benefit from this technology.